Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this Starbucks cup using chunky glitter and um, bright tone from the Crystal Act Company. And also be sure to stay tuned towards the end of this video. I am going to be doing a giveaway announcement. So stay tuned for that. And also um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And comment as always if you have any questions. So this is what the bright tone looks like um, it is a non-toxic water-based top coat I will link it down below and this is what I use to seal my tumblers um, since it is non-toxic there is no um, personal protective equipment needed to be worn when using bright tone and it is safe to use even indoors it does have a 30-day cure time but after five to seven days um, the cup is okay for light use and that's usually when I give it to its new owner. So I'm going to start off by glittering my cup. This is the glitter I'm going to be using. It's from the Walmart brand and it's called Snowy Surprise. And it's a blend of a chunky and fine glitter. I did prep my cup. I'm going to start off by covering the logo. Since I don't want any glitter on that, I am going to cover it with these pre-cut um, circles that I cut out using my Cricut machine. And I did prep my cup by sanding it with 400 grit sanding paper. And then I did also um, spray paint it using this um, Rust-Oleum Fresh li French Lilac Satin Spray Paint. And then I did wait um, 48 hours for it to off gas before doing anything to the cup. I let it off gas for 48 hours, which is very important if you are adding bright tone to your cup. You want to allow it to do its off gassing and its chemical reaction before you add any um, bright tone to the cup. So I am going to glitter my cup using um, bright tone. I did transfer it from the gallon to this condiment bottle that I have here and I'm just going to add a thin coat of bright tone to my cup. to go ahead and add my glitter. After adding my coat of bright tone, I do go ahead and speed up the spinner just a little bit um, so that my coat of bright tone can go ahead and self level just for a few seconds. And then I go ahead and slow down the spinner back and then I add my coat of glitter. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this glitter um, on top of this cup. I love how this opal, white opal glitter looks on top of this lilac color. After I add my glitter, I'm going to go ahead and let this spin for an hour and then dry for three more hours to total um, four hours of dry time. So after allowing my cup to dry for four hours, I'm going to go ahead and seal and flatten my glitter using E6000 spray. This helps ensure that you don't have any glitter fallout when you start to um, add bright tone coats to your cup. And it also helps um, flatten and sit your glitter down as much as you could um, with the E6000 spray so that when you go to start adding bright tone, it reduces the amount of bright tone coats that you're going to need to achieve a glossy cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a light spray all over the cup. It does go on white, but it dries, on, dries clear. So just give your cup a spray and then wait 30 minutes, um, 30 to 40 minutes for it to dry. After the 30 to 40 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to go in with some parchment paper and flatten down your glitter as much as you could. 
you're basically just rolling your cup up in parchment paper and pressing down and using your hand to flatten down the glitter as much as you could. You're gonna repeat this step twice. You're gonna spray, wait 30 minutes, roll in parchment paper, spray again, wait 30 minutes, roll in parchment paper, and then spray one last time. I did wait overnight to go ahead and let my cup dry with all the E6000 sprays um, before I added Bright Tone. So this here will be my first coat of Bright Tone. As you can see, there's no more glitter fallout and my cup is ready for Bright Tone. So this is my first coat of Bright Tone and I'm going to go in and just add a thin coat of Bright Tone, just enough to where my cup isn't dripping. Every coat is added the same. You're gonna add just a thin coat of Bright Tone and you are going to go ahead and allow the cup to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. Um, I didn't record every coat that I gave my cup, but I did go ahead and add the coats exactly the same as I mentioned. Um, just enough to where your cup isn't dripping. And then I do sand every three to four coats. So here I am giving my cup uh, a third coat of Bright Tone. I did speed it up and I'm going to um, just add a thin coat of Bright Tone, let my cup spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. So I did give my cup four coats of Bright Tone and I'm going to go in with 400 grit sanding paper and I'm going to go ahead and sand my cup. I'm going to give it a good sand. I do sand every three to four coats of Bright Tone. Sanding just helps smooth out your cup so that you can achieve a glossy um, cup with less coats of Bright Tone. So sanding a three to four, every three to four coats is recommended. After sanding my cup, I don't rinse them. I just go ahead and um, clean them off using a lint-free cloth. I just go ahead and wipe it. I wipe my cup and then I start coating, continue coating with Bright Tone. So here I am after my cup has been sanded. I'm going to go ahead and continue coating with Bright Tone. And I'm going to continue coating with Bright Tone until my cup is smooth enough for my design that I'm going to add to this cup. You don't want to add any designs to your cup until your cup is smooth enough. You'll know that your cup is smooth when you go ahead and add another coat of Bright Tone and you can no longer feel the glitter. If you add your design, your vinyl um, to your cup and, it's, and your cup is still bumpy, um, your design will be bumpy, so you want to go ahead and continue coating until you have a smooth cup. So now that I have a smooth cup, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my design using my Cricut Explorer 2. Here's my machine cutting out my design. So here's the design that I'm going to be adding to this cup and using my Cricut tools, I'm just going to go ahead and weed that out. Now that I have my image weeded out, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this um, shelf liner from Walmart. It's shelf liner, but I'm going to be using it as transfer tape. It works really well. It's from the Duck brand. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys want to check it out. And what I like to do is just stick this transfer tape or any type, type of transfer tape onto any type of cloth before I add it to any of my Bright Tone cups. This helps it... Um, make the transfer tape less sticky you don't want your transfer tape to be too sticky because it's easy to pull off your um, previous bright tone coat off when you're pulling your transfer tape off you can accidentally pull too hard and pull your previous bright tone coat off and you definitely don't want that 
So doing this just helps out um, with that, avoiding that to happen. It makes the transfer tape less sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and split the design into parts just so that it is easier to add to the cup. So now that I have my design on my cup, I'm going to go ahead and continue coating with Bright Tone until I am satisfied with my gloss finish. Um, I'm going to continue coating. Every coat is added the same as I mentioned earlier. You um, add a thin coat of Bright Tone, let your cup spin for an hour, and then dry for an additional 30, 3 hours. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as I mentioned earlier, stay tuned. I will be mentioning a giveaway in just a few seconds. So if you made it this far, guys, this is the giveaway that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be giving away two of these Cricut must-have boxes. These boxes include holographic vinyls, removable vinyl. They also include glitter iron-ons as well as everyday iron-ons. And it also has a couple sheets of transfer tape and it also includes a weeding tool. This is what the box looks like inside. The giveaway is going to go on for two weeks. It's going to start today, Wednesday, March 3rd, and it's going to end Wednesday, March 17th. I will be choosing two winners to each win one box, one of these boxes, and I will be announcing the winners on my next video that I will be posting on March 17th. For this giveaway, you can do a total of two entries. To get your first entry, you're going to want to be subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Then you're going to go in the comment section, um, comment that you are subscribed to my channel. And I also want you to add what type of crafts it is that you make, whether it's Tumblr making or t-shirt making, just add a brief comment letting me know what type of crafts you make. And that will automatically give you um, one entry to the giveaway. To get a second entry, you will have to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be doing a post for this for this giveaway. Um, and what you have to do is just repost the post for the giveaway on your Instagram story and tag me in it. Um, that will automatically give you a second entry for the giveaway. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. Um, I'll go ahead and also link it on the video description. This um, giveaway is in no way sponsored by YouTube and I am solely responsible for this contest and delivering the prize to the winner. So that's it for this video guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and good luck to everyone who enters the giveaway. Um, I'm going to be doing more giveaways in the future just to show my appreciation to you guys. I do see the, all the comments and I appreciate them so much. Thank you guys so much for watching.